Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to make Countdown start automatically for multiple services. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about Pro Presenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. Last week on the Pro Presenter Users Group, Benji Satorius asked, We have multiple services and have timers set up to count down to our service times. During the countdown, we have looping announcements. Is there a way to automate the countdown timer to each of the service times? Well, I came up with the solution, but it wasn't very elegant. Although it would have worked. Then, credit where credit is due, John Mark Clark shared his way, which was quite frankly better. I've tweaked it a bit, and I'll show you how, but it, along with another solution that I'll also show you, should solve this particular problem. If you have multiple services, you might think setting up a countdown for each one of those is difficult. Not necessarily. So there are a couple of ways to do it, and let me show you each with the positives and negatives for each of them. So the first way to do this is to have individual documents with the last slide in your pre-service loop, assuming that that's what you're doing, and I'll show you why the last slide in just a second, as the only item there. And then what you do is, well, here, let me show you with the 11 a.m. countdown. We right-click on it and go to add queue then queue palette and then message so we're just going to drag that on there and now we need to select the message I'm going to go with the 11 o'clock um, in this case I've got it set to 11 a.m. but that could be 11 p.m. you can change that in here whatever um, and click done Okay, so I've done that for the 9 o'clock as well. Now we need to go into Scheduler. Uh, let me get rid of the Q palette here. Go into Scheduler, and we need two events per service. So the first one, select the playlist. We are on the default playlist. Got one of these? then you can get access for you and your team to all my courses and books, whether it's just a couple of people or multiple campuses. Just choose the multi-site plan if that's you. Oh, and I take purchase orders too. So if you'd like to automate your training and take your church's tech ministry to the next level, go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and get started today. Now back to the tutorial. Uh, select a document. Let's go for the 9 a.m. countdown. Basically the same thing as the 11 that I just showed you, only it is at, um, it had the 9 a.m. countdown timer on it. And then we need to change the time. Uh, it's 12.42 as I'm doing this, so let's do 12.44 just so that you can see on today's date, no repeat. If you set this up every week, you could have that repeat weekly. And then you'd only have to change what this is, but if it's like a welcome to First Church Hackensack or whatever, then you wouldn't necessarily have to change that except when you did a, a rebranding or whatever. So we have that. So that is at 12.44.00. Let's add another one. And again, default playlist. And this time, let's go to the 
slideshow loop. I'm just using the element transitions here. And let's change that to 12, 44, and 5 seconds. Okay, again, repeat or don't repeat, doesn't matter. So once we get out of there, if we wait for it to become 1244, you'll see that it in fact has started and then five seconds later it moves on to this and this will continue going until uh, church starts. So there you go. Uh, you'll notice here that I didn't format the countdown very well and I used the wrong template. This one includes John 3.16 so that's a mistake but you can in fact tell that uh, that's what it did. So I can just repeat that uh, going into the scheduler. Control S on a Mac takes you there or if you have the ProPresenter 6 keyboard skin you could just look down S for scheduler and see that that's the case. So that is all good. Now we can go to um, add one for the 11 that's exactly the same. So that's a way to do that. Let me show you another way to do that. Uh, the downside of doing this is that from time to time you'll have to change this because this will change. And the reason that I put it as last is because in effect starting with the last one is the same as starting with this one because they're identical, right? Oh, and you could have these in a different playlist and just reference the playlist for the timer countdown start and then go back to your weekly playlist for this in the scheduler. You could absolutely do that as well. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it here, let me go to messages, which I could click here, go to, uh, I believe it's under view, yes it is, or control M. So I have created another message and Actually, I haven't put the timer in it yet, so let me create one. Let's call this five minutes. So let's say you always start a countdown five minutes before church starts. No problem. So now we can go to this five minute countdown that I've created in the clocks already and put that there. So that's available. So let us first hide the current messages and there we go. Okay, so we're going to hide that and instead what we want to do is we want to um, let Let's remove this message here. And for the 11 o'clock, instead of counting down to 11 o'clock, let's count down five minutes. <clears throat> so again, we need to go to... Q palette and add the message and which message is it this time it is the five minutes message and you can tweak this right here if you want to but we're going to leave it as it is now we go back to scheduler <clears throat> and with this one 
Again, we added this just a moment ago. What we're going to do is select the current playlist, select the 11 o'clock, and then have that start five minutes before service, which we're going to call a couple of minutes from now. Let's say... 1250 and then do the exact same thing here where the 1250 and then however long you want that first slide to be up is there you go again we can repeat or not repeat doesn't matter so if we watch this, we'll see that this shows up with a five minute countdown when it reaches 1250 on the clock. And actually let me clear this all out so that it's very obvious when that happens. So there it is. And you'll notice as difficult as it is to read, that's 453, 52, 51, and again, wrong template, but you get the point that we have this countdown, and it should have auto-advanced. Let's take a look at scheduler. Oh. Um, let's... <clears throat> because I didn't get out of that, it didn't have a chance to auto advance so let's call that 5100 let's select a different one and let's wait for that to happen oops forgot to tell it what to do so there we go And now, now it advances. So that was my mistake. But that's how to do it. Let me tell you the pluses and minuses of each of these ways to do it. Um, if you're in a church, uh, my former pastor would often go over, and there were occasions where we went over into the beginning of the next service. So when that happened... It would have been the case that the five minute countdown starting automatically five minutes before service was supposed to start, but we were still in the previous service, that would have been a problem. Also, with doing it this way, where it's exactly at a certain time, if the pastor goes over, that's also a problem. You could put the message right here um, for the countdown, but the problem in doing that is you might run into a situation where it tries to restart. So that's why I like it as separate items, um, and as I say, because of the way scheduler works, because you can select different items, you could have a playlist that all it is is the countdowns, or you can put it in this same playlist and just use it that way. So. Either way, that's how to set up multiple countdowns for multiple services in ProPresenter 6. Whether you want to create a group of countdown slides to count down to a time, or you want to use the scheduler to handle the actual time while doing the countdowns for a specific amount of time, I think one of these solutions should work for you. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar and for the first month for free uh, for the yearly and multi-site plans. 
Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. 